When looking into the MT Top 40 list of the best football players in Montana's history, the pro career doesn't necessarily land you inside the top five, but of course it certainly helps. And that's exactly what helps solidify the number two defensive lineman in Montana history. What started great in high school, lasted through college, and then a very tenured National Football League career. Number two in the MT Top 40 D-line is none other than Dwan Edwards of Columbus. Dwan Edwards was a three-sport standout at Columbus from the late 90s, and he was all over the football field for then-coach John Smith, a starter on each side of the ball for three seasons, all-conference honors, both offense and defense in all three of those years. Linebacker position in high school, two-time All-State selection, and check out the stats, 75 total tackles, three sacks, five tackles for loss, and an INT as a junior. Jump to the senior season, 87 total tackles, three sacks, seven tackles for loss and two interceptions. On offense, he would split time between tight end and fullback. Columbus, 24 and five overall record during Edwards three seasons. But he was also a star in hoops, more than 20 points per game his junior and senior seasons, named first team All-State each of those years in Columbus, a second place state finisher in 1999. He was an outstanding inside linebacker. He played Mike backer for us and then also uh, played fullback his senior year. Um, you know, I think if, if he had grown up in a, in a little bit bigger high school program, I think he probably would have been a, you know, an, you know a, a kid that people would have looked at as a tight end because he had incredible hands and, and good speed, good feet, very intelligent. You know, at linebacker, he was... Uh, Played sideline to sideline, didn't didn't have incredible speed, but also at the same time had a real good idea where the ball was going, so he always seemed to be around it. Really just a, a super athlete, a, a big kid who played skilled positions back then. You know, he was the fullback and, and an inside backer, and I distinctly remember how difficult, if it was very difficult to run the ball in between the tackles. He played the middle backer in their 43, and that area was, was pretty much taken care of by him. You had to work for everything. But above that, you really just a classy kid out there always and, you know, really saw his athleticism in, in basketball as well. I do remember one time when he played the middle backer position, we had a heck of a time moving the ball, and he had to go out for either a helmet, chin strap, or a cramp, and we marched it right down the field in about three plays. So that tells you the impact he did have, you know, in that in that defense that they did have. We had some very good teams too. From high school to college, where Edwards attended Oregon State as a red shirt in 1999 and jumped up nearly 60 pounds to move up front to the defensive line. 12 games as a red shirt freshman in 2000 with 27 total tackles, nine tackles for loss and five sacks. That was in a backup role. Then in 2001, he cracked into the starting lineup. 10 games, 31 tackles, five for loss and two sacks and jump into the junior season in 2002. 50 tackles, nine for loss, three and a half sacks, and the Pac-10 named him all-conference honorable mention. Then in 2003 as a senior, Edwards finished with 51 total tackles, eight and a half of those were for loss, and three more sacks, team MVP, and an all-conference recognition. One of the things that I discussed with the guys who came and recruited him, and then some of the other coaches who came to watch him play, um, you know, his, he carried most of his weight from his hips down. You know, his legs were incredibly strong. And, you know, that, that's where, you know, a lot of the guys saw his potential and growth to be a bigger player. I mean, he left here at 2.30 as a, uh, as a senior and then came back at the end of his freshman year, redshirt year at Oregon State, and he weighed 290. <laughs> so, yeah, there was a change in his stature for sure. You know, he was eating three squares a day plus whatever they made him eat in between. You know, and then also became pretty sports specific with the weight training thing. The pros came calling in 2004. How about the second round? A pick by the Baltimore Ravens where his first five professional seasons were right there in Baltimore. A full-time starter in 2007. That season had 41 combined tackles, one sack, one interception. In 2008, during the preseason, he suffered a season-ending injury but came back to the starting lineup for the Ravens in 2009 where he had 47 tackles and a sack. As a free agent, he signed with Buffalo prior to the 2010 season, spent a couple years with the Bills, and finished his career with the Carolina Panthers. In 2012, his first season there, he had 52 tackles and a career-high six sacks. After a dozen years in the National Football League, Edwards finished with 353 total tackles, 19 and a half sacks, and three interceptions. 
you know, he was the kind of guy that went home after after practice, didn't carouse, did the things that he needed to do, kept his body in good shape, didn't do a lot of risky things. I know he played basketball. He still tells me he plays basketball every day, you know, to keep in shape. And I think that was part of his training routine in the off season was just staying, staying limber and moving, you know. You know, he's a great dad. He's raised five kids now and, and done an awesome job with that, he and his wife. And um, they're, they're both... Uh, both very good people and Dwan has uh, you know that's probably the most important thing in his life and then I think probably God comes first his family and then it was football and now I don't even know what's third anymore. So there you go four up four down and only one to go in the MT Top 40's look at the best defensive lineman in Montana history Beerman, Lazatich, Donahue and now Dwan Edwards we unveil number one on Friday. Richie Meldy, MTN Sports.